Hello there and welcome back to another episode of Going Medieval. Now the winter is over and this is the second day of spring. In our previous episode, if we go a few layers down, we uh, left off with um, when we were constructing one of those bedrooms here. And that was quite, a, quite painful to construct, to be honest. Uh, I have built another two off, uh, off camera because it just takes a little bit of time. And what's happening here? Why can we see through? Okay, so, so I think we are missing some flooring. And that should be fine. And uh, let me just do one more bit in here. Okay, good. Nice. Um, right, so... Today's plan is to give our citizens... all oh, the brave warriors. Uh, nice. Where is it? I think it's the green one. Yes, we need a great hall. Just to give them a um, bit more... Uh, buffs for their for their mood and I think uh, one of the comments was about why do we do individual bedrooms and just to show it in this video if they sleep in their own own bedrooms then they get a plus eight buff on their on their mood and that is that is definitely very good all uh, right so great haul back to this idea initially we were talking and thinking of building it across on the other side but now I started thinking, since we, uh, we're we going to have this massive, like, a hall in the middle, why don't we use this space for a great hall and put up um, a dining table in the mid middle, and potentially uh, the, what is it called again? Uh, I don't think we have unlocked it, have we? Oh, we haven't, yeah, cartography. So this could be in the middle somewhere there as well, and then we can unlock the regions and see what's around us, really. But alright, so to get this started... The top level seems to be fine over here. We have support beams everywhere. So that should hold uh, everything in place. Now, what I've started to slowly do is um, putting in some of those more support beams on the lower levels as well. We already have a couple of uh, limestone walls. And most of them, if not all... Uh, let's just have a quick look. Yes, they have beams in place, so that is good. Now, what we will have to do, I think um, we will start taking out those middle bits now. And and here. Okay, so that's looking good. And we'll do the same in these sections as well. And then we'll put the put the beams in place, just like on the like we have it on the other side. Uh, yep, just over here. Sweet. Uh, what happened now? Okay, someone. Covered the flooring up, I think. Cool, we'll put it on three times uh, speed again. And actually, we can do it in here as well. So, to mine this middle bit out here, I don't think we have to mine everything. So we can be a little bit smarter about this. But I'm not sure if it's going to work 100%. So let's give it a try. I think what we can do is, once we disconnect the... Disconnect it from the, from the, uh, from the sides then it should just naturally drop everything in the middle because there's nothing holding it. Well, that means we do have to get uh, eventually mine out the bottom as well, but... But, um, yeah, let's let's keep this going. We've got a few settlers already, a few warriors. Oh, I almost forgot. We do have a few new colonists as well. My apologies for nearly forgetting about it. We have Tim R. Drake and Kuis that have joined our, our colony, so welcome guys. And uh, let's have a quick look through what your duties and tasks in our colony are as well. So Tim, Tim you're a smith, you've got a super high smithing skill, 28, so that's definitely going to be useful very soon hopefully. Drake over here, he's a great miner, 35 in his skill set. So that is only, it makes sense that he's going to be mining now. And Kuis. Uh, since your carpentry is really high, 21 points in there, you're going to be doing doing that for us as a priority. Right, so in the meanwhile... Oh, we have a raid. That is amazing. Alright, so let's have a look what do we have here. We've got quite a... How many people is it? 12. Okay. Quite a sizable one. How many bows can we see? We can see 1, 2, 3. Is that 3 only? Okay, that is three. And how far are you from the colony? Right, so they're most likely... 
going to come up from here. Okay, so that's not bad. We can do the same what we did in the previous episode and position our arches on the top here. But it's just really unfortunate that they arrive when our brave warriors have just gone to bed. Alright, we'll give them a little bit of time to rest up. Let's see, good looking be uh, gamer. Ah, uh, yeah, that's uh, he's pretty tired. Okay, unfortunately we don't have a lot of time. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna have to boss this. And everyone is going to be needed. Sorry guys, and girls. Please, make your way up here. Oh, I think we are a little late. Yikes. Uh, well, let's see. I think we'll... might be fine, because some of them are mocking around as well. Here comes our army. Oh yeah, we're definitely late. Uh, do you know what? Okay, archers. Up here instead. Polly. Uh, who else we have? Drake. Who is... And... Go for it. Alright, you guys get up there. ASAP. Definitely want to ensure that none of you get... Oh... This might get... A little toasty in here. Yep. Oh no. Someone's taking quite a few hits. No, that's Tim. Tim, fall back. Uh, and now he's surrounded. Okay, we're gonna have to pull Tim out. Tim, get over there. Oh no, Tim's fallen down. He's unconscious. Who else is Sanchit? You're pretty low as well. And same with Bixie. Bixie. Ah, uh, Bixie's down. Ah, uh, Sanchit is down as well. Okay, we can only pray that our arches. Alright, you guys. You're gonna have to help us out over here. Shoot him, please. Forget about the door. And... Uh, that's all our melee guys down. Right, maybe we'll try and focus on some of those arches over there. I think they're gonna attack... Yeah, that's uh, that's okay. We can reconstruct most of those things. You know what? You can shoot over there. Please, this way. And same. Okay, that's one down. Do you know what? If you come here now... Ooh, okay, we're gonna have to save these guys rather quickly. Wait, why didn't you run over there? Okay, go. Alright, so these ones are down now. Let's try and bring our arches uh, over. Yep, over here as well. And Polly, same please. No, you must. You stay here. I think once we take one of them down, maybe Kip is going to be next or Alfred. Then the rest, yep, yeah, there we go. Victory. And you guys are going to come and help us out over here as well. Uh, where are you going? Get over there. We're going to have to take down Marcus. Where is he going? I don't think he's going to make it. Alright, couple more hits. And Marcus should be down. Yes, there we go. Now, quickly. Please save our fallen heroes. And, okay, here we go. Ooh, that was way too close. Let's see, a couple of people in critical condition. Oh, that's looking nasty. Not a lot of health left. But it seems we are regenerating health now. And Francesco. Well, seems like he's at least able to make it to the bed by himself. But we still need to rescue Bixie, Tamera and Sanchit. Hopefully, I think, who is this? Confred is gonna come and save our last fallen hero over there. Yeah, we're gonna... Um, Definitely gonna have to do something about our defenses here as well. They are pretty non-existent right now. And to be fair, 
if we had woken everyone up a slightly, slightly bit earlier, then I think the results would have been um, a little bit better. But at least we still have a few, uh, a few people that are on their feet, so we'll be able to heal up the rest of the team very quickly. Yeah, I think it, um, I'm pretty sure it saved us that we put our archers on the top, because if we didn't, uh, probably a whole different story right now. Right, but okay, whilst everyone is um, healing up, we shall continue with our little expansion over here. I think we're going to have to put a few floors down, because it seems in some of those sections, there isn't really anything where they can step on. Uh, so here we go, we can do another support beam as well. Perfect. And now I suppose we're going to have to put another one in there too. Okay, so that's starting to look fairly good. I believe we can take all this section out now. And then uh, hopefully put some support beams between these two pillars as well. You know what, we'll leave the middle bit intact for time being and just do the middle bit just in case okay um obviously these guys are pretty tired as well so they're all sleeping now and they're oh yeah tim is just healing up let's see bruised leg and minor uh, chest laceration Ooh. all right we'll try and be a little bit smarter in the future when there is some more attacks coming in, but I think we should ha get a bit of a break before the next one comes in. And, well, you look at that, they've already cleaned up most of the area. Just have to get rid of those bodies here as well, please. Well, I guess we'll do it tomorrow. Yeah, Pixie, are you okay? He's going to sleep. He's walking so slowly right now. It's like he's on ice or something. Alright, you, you've got this, Pixie. Let's see. Uh, dead bodies, entertainment. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of debuffs. You're not walking very fast, are you? No, not at all. It's a struggle. But you'll make it. Okay, there we go. He'll uh, make it to the bed once uh, once sleep time is over. And, and Oh, there we go. Now he's sped up. Fantastic. Well, maybe, uh, I know it's spring, but maybe there is a bit of ice in here and it's, uh, you know, just a little little tricky to walk. But once he, once he got inside, it seemed, thing, things seemed to move a little bit quicker. Uh, well, at least his legs did. Okay, uh, let's have a look. They're just going to have a bit of fun, get, uh, get some food. And after that, I think we should get this final section here done as well. And once we get these beams down, we'll complete the rest of the flooring. Flooring as well. Do you know what? You can probably go. I think everything above is fine. Yes, it is. Cool. Are we getting some work that's coming over? Yes, we are. Some floors are being constructed. Can we do the beams as well, please? That would be my preference. Oh, they might not be able to access it. Okay, so yeah, put the floors down and then we'll get the beams in place as well. Uh, what's happening here? Oh, can't go any further. Uh, yeah, that because the ground underneath is all mined out, so we're going to have to do those floors one by one. By one. Uh, other than that, poly... Okay, floors, fine. Just really waiting for that beam to be constructed, but um, right, so looking up yeah. Oh, wait, no, they have not cleared everything up. I think I was, yeah, misleading a little bit. But that's okay. Good looking gamer. Do you know what? Please take this away. What are you doing, tailoring? No, I think we should get rid of those bodies. And uh, Polly, get these. All right, few bodies gone. Tim, you're producing, you know what? Just get this. Francesco, uh, you're gonna go and lay down. Okay, that's fair. Just wanna get rid of those bodies. In oh, there's one inside as well. 
Did you manage to break through the door? Oh, yes, you did. It's going to have to uh, stick another another one in there. Uh, wait, where are you? Uh, get back in here. There's a few more bodies that we have to dispose of. That's two of them done. Who's coming back? Tim, I'm afraid you're not going to produce anything right now. We've got some uh, bigger priorities. Uh, these are there. Who is uh, coming up now? That is Tamera. Uh, grab this body as well. Now we got three more. Okay, good. Hailstorm. Ooh, okay. That's gonna drop the temperature a little bit and... Oh, you guys might want to hide inside. Let's see. Uh, no debuffs from the hailstorms. That's good to know. Sanjit, where are you off to? Relocating piles. Uh, do you know what? It's it's fine. And who's over there? There's just a couple more bodies, please. And that should be the last of it. Go. Cool. Now with that being done, let's have a quick look underneath. I think most of the digging should be done. And yes, it is. We can now put in the last support beam. And also a bit of flooring there. Let's just double check. Is, uh, yep, all the beams are in place indeed. So we can remove these blocks there. And here we go. Uh, wrong one. Let's grab a bit of flooring. We'll put it here. And now we should be able to start going a little bit lower. I think what I'd like to do is... Let's take um, this out. This in here. Same with these three. And the goal is really to detach uh, them from everything else. All the other walls around you, around them. Okay, lovely. Quick autosave. And one more flooring pit over here. Fantastic. Oh, we're going to have to do, the, uh, do it on this side as well, don't we? So let's get this bits out. Have a quick rest everyone and hopefully uh, Pixie's still pretty hurt. Let's take a look. Um, okay. And uh, doesn't really tell us. Well, it just has to get his hit points up, I suppose. Tim, what about you? Yep. Just needs to heal a little bit, but but other than that, we're, we're pretty good. Okay, another day has arrived. Just a bit of freedom in the morning, free time for everyone. Now that they've mined everything out, we can finalize those last floor bits. And um, once they mine out these sections here, we'll start. Uh, let's have a look. I think we can. Yeah, we can already go down here, can't we? Right. So this is going to go through Yeah. Let's give them a bit of an access point. And we shall do it with all of them. Just like so. And just rinse and repeat. Let's see, has anything fallen down yet? No, not quite. Okay, we'll give them a little bit of time. Let's see. It should work, in theory. Because if they're not attached to anything, then... Um, yeah. Oh, that's it. Right. Are we mining now? They're just putting some floors down. Well, maybe we can give them some more access points as well. Do you know what? Let's do that. How about you get to go in from these corners and then we'll do the support beams. Yep, that's, uh, that's looking good. And carry on mining, everyone. Okay, cool. Now, other things. I think we got a little distracted. Uh, up on top here, let's bring the trees up again as well. When it comes to defenses, I think our colony, I think uh, that's probably the highest we can go. Yep, it's not allowing us to go any further. So we'll have a few entrances. It would be smart to have just one, perhaps. Actually, no. I mean, it makes sense 
to have just one so we can force a all the raiders to go through the same route every single time but then the problem becomes if something happens uh well essentially don't want to put all the eggs in the same basket so i'm thinking one entrance could be here so that way we have access to everything uh, i guess south of us then to the uh, to the west maybe have another entrance that goes down from somewhere here and then same to the east but to the north i was thinking to cut off um, all the access from here by mining one level down and then all this area up here or behind us could be used for farms i mean we're definitely going to use this area for mining as well uh, so that way they won't be able to attack us from from behind or from the north yeah that sh should be a pretty good plan we'll think about it a little bit but what's happening here okay they're getting these sections oh that was quick well, some of their mining levels are quite high, so it shouldn't take too long, which is very good. Uh, what just happened? Hey. No, doesn't allow us to... Ah, uh, wait, that's because we haven't mined this out, of course. You silly me. Uh, let's look a lower... I think we can, yes. Fantastic, we can start putting in some beams now. Few of them are done. Can you please also go through these bits, perhaps? And do we have a wall there? No, we don't. Okay, so we would like to mine this poly. Uh, mine this section out. And then, let's see. Limestone block wall. Fantastic. Uh, I know you want to pray, but could you please construct this real quick? Awesome. And last beam in place as well. Alright. Um, I think we have most of the beams where we need them. It's just the ones connecting with the with the wall. And, well, you look at that. Good looking gamer has a birthday. He has turned 43. So happy birthday to you. I wish they had some sort of like celebrations as well. Just like in, in RimWorld. Where they gather and then... And I think mostly, if I remember correctly, I uh, played it such a long time ago. But it was uh, in, in like a dining room. Where they have a throw a bit of a party and then get a get a mood buff as well. I can't remember what the roadmap said for this game, but uh, maybe there are going to be some, some more advanced interactions in the future for our colonists as well. Okay. Um, another thing, I might want to move the stairs over by one now that I think about it because on the lower level can't really have an extra uh, what is it called like a support beam in place which is not ideal so let's put some floors and I think we'll have to mine out a little bit more as well yep that is looking better and probably do the same up there, okay, uh, nearly there, Drake finishes off that one, and while well, you look at that, a couple more support beams, and I think now it's probably safe to, let's take a look, uh, let's mine around, maybe this way, and this way, and same on this side. Uh, no one's able to go there. They should be able to find these out as well. Yeah, it should be fine. And then uh, once we drop all these sides here, we'll take a look if, if the rest is going to collapse down to, to stability. Alright, get to work everyone. Oh, might need to... Let's see, I'll leave this bit in here. I don't know if the connection with the floor matters. And everything else, no, you're not really connected to any walls, except this corner might be. Oh, a new settler. Look at that. Uh, Florence. Speechcraft, smithing, carpentry, and tailoring 17. We will definitely welcome Florence to the cave. And his tending is not too bad either. Right. 
since you do have a passion in a couple of areas, do you know what? You could... Mm, I mean, there isn't too much carpentry or smithing to do right now, and we do want them to... Mm, yeah, stay on it. So I think hauling and stewarding will be one. And then why don't you help out with cutting and uh, maybe constructing. Okay, we'll leave you as it is. Uh, researching will take it off. Don't think we need that. Tailoring is high. That would be good actually if he helps with this. And maybe some crafting as well. We'll put it on three. Okay, who's starving? Ah, oh, that's Florence. So that is okay. Unfortunately, we have a few spare beds as well, so... So yeah, has anything collapsed yet? No. Hmm. Okay. Let's take a look. Uh, we have... Oh yeah, of course. It does make sense. They're using these floors as their support, so... Um, We'll definitely have to take all this out. You know what? We'll just highlight all of it. There we go. Is everything done? No, we still have one support beam here. Great. Now let's go up again. And if it still isn't gonna fall down, then... Then I don't know. But I'm pretty sure... Once they mine out... Uh, that section as well. There we go. Any... Yep, they put these two links in here. Wait, things are way too stable. Are you saying this bit of wall here? Oh, there we go. Got a couple of things that have fallen through. A few more. Fantastic. And... Nice. That is good. There's nothing underneath that one. So it must be that last wall in here. Wow. Now that's a one supportive pillar. But then again, it might be it might be those floors that are helping helping to keep it up as well. Uh well let's see once they mine this section out, but uh, that doesn't affect this here. So we definitely need this um this bit to be done. Okay, yeah. I guess we'll see. Now, coming back to that stair bit here. Uh, oh, we have a missing wall. Oh yeah, of course we did. There was a... Wait, what happened to the stairs? Oh, they just disappeared. Okay. That is fine. I think we'll do a limestone... A uh, bit of uh, stairs in here. Put this down. And... Support beam. Beautiful. Uh, getting resources. Do you know what? No, just uh, mine this out, please. I really want to see if everything is going to collapse once the last section comes out. Or oh, what else might be... Oh, wow. Uh, let's do the corner bits. That is bizarre. There's literally nothing underneath. Maybe it really is holding on to those floors. Let's see, we'll take these links out. I guess we'll have to do the same there. And while well, you look at that. Slowly but surely. Other sections are starting to crumble as well. Lovely indeed. Okay, so whilst that is happening. I guess what we'll, uh, what we'll do is let's put a... Let's see, we are going to have to put some flooring down. Maybe like so. And then the rest of it. You know what? Let's just use a different kind of flooring. And that's looking looking pretty good. Now when it comes to the table, we can... Uh, it's a little off. Well... I guess no. It's still not... Hmm. Well, we could put it here. Or, no, let's put it a little bit closer. Let's use this base here. Uh, yeah, we can't put it in between pillars. Uh, these two pillars, but right in front of it, it actually works out 
pretty perfectly and wow they've already done the flooring these guys are fast um now chairs let's put a couple down well we'll cover this whole area because we are gonna have quite a sizable colony here and unfortunately this tailoring station is gonna have to go as well right it seems yeah it was just they are connected to those to those floors so once we mine them out the rest uh, has fallen through so that's actually looking pretty good now when it comes to uh let's have a look oh we don't have the decorations that we need the decorative banners that's what we need to turn it into a crate hall we are gonna have to put down a few of those so i was thinking banners up in these areas let's do uh do a few here oh there's still one wall that has not been constructed but i think we can fix this real quick and the same uh, same in these sections here let's have some support pillars please now oh, they're all sleeping now uh, yeah, we're gonna need some banners, but I was thinking on the lower levels, what we'll do... We can find them torches, yeah, here we go. What are you gonna take? You're gonna take some iron. Uh, do you know what? It's gonna be a great haul. I'm sure we can spare a couple of those. I think we need more than just two, though. Uh, yeah. So maybe we can do a couple more there. But... Uh, you know what? Leave this in there. Um, can please select it. Uh, here we go. Okay, just one more section to cut down or mine out, and then it should be good. Tables in place, few chairs as well. And it seems Francesco is already enjoying a drink or a or a meal from this freshly or newly built massive stone table. Okay. Um, seems the last bit is through, and now, uh, while well, you look at that, we've got different, different levels, we can see across, and that's actually pretty, pretty sick. Uh, they can't build those banners, and that's probably because of access, so we are gonna have to place a few temporary, uh, roads down. Here we go. Do you want Drake? Please go there friendly visit uh okay so that's quite a big caravan i think i really hope they've already uh, moved all the weapons yes they have everything's inside so we can sell probably most of it but i think uh, all the lower quality stuff has been taken apart already as well uh, but i'm sure we can still sell a few things okay please construct that wall as soon as you can and then a couple of beams in in these areas okay so that's done that was very quick indeed and thank you drake we can now put in this beam and yeah then we're just gonna slowly start doing those bits there as well oh we are gonna have to put some more walls there fantastic okay have we done those walls yes and we're starting to put in some banners already as well and that's starting to look um, look much better now oh there's already a banner there fantastic uh let's just double check what do we need we need eight banners we'll, we've got six right now don't we six okay and four torches which we already already have uh great now we just have to find a few more areas where to place those banners, but I'm... Sh Actually, yeah, you know what? Uh, no, this is where the support beam is going to go. Yep, let's do it there. But yeah, so that's going to be pretty much done now. Uh, we'll just finish off with a couple of banners, a few, uh, few more somewhere where I can find. But um, that's going to be our new great hall over here. And I think in the next episode, what we'll do is... We are going to have to start looking at some of our defensive structures and, and walls that we will place down as well. Why are you guys hanging out over there? Oh yeah, let's try and sell some stuff to them. Before we go, let's just do, do this real quick. Good looking gamer. 
I know this meeting place isn't the most ideal, but oh, oh well. And you're not interested in buying anything. Ah, uh, you want to take this. Ah, uh, that's a bummer. You selling anything? Mechanical components. We want those. And you know what? We'll sell you a bit of food. 51. I'll take it. And here you go. So that's done. All right. So with the final trade completed, uh, we are going to end the episode over here. So thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again in the next one.